Go. Okay, today is the 29th of May, 2011, right in the middle of Memorial Day weekend. And I uh, spent this morning doing a little bit of maintenance. Thought I would do an update video on the two deep water culture systems and talk a bit about pH. As you can see on my little, uh, my little crudely written sign, 100 days. That is how long the lettuce has been alive in the, uh, in the mescaline system. As we zoom in here, this is the mescaline mix that I've talked about before. As I said, this is 100 full days of this lettuce uh, from germination, actually 91 days since it has been in the system, in this deep water culture system. As I posted before, we've had just multiple harvests. There are seven different varieties in this mix. Uh, they've all been just fantastic, great eating, uh, really crisp, really great texture. We've really enjoyed uh, mixing these into the salads. And as we zoom in here, you can see how many times this has been trimmed, and it just keeps growing back up out of the center. 100 days this lettuce has been with us. This is, this is incredible. No bolting, no bitterness. It's still running. We are, uh, we are seeing a slowdown. Uh, it's not quite regenerating as quick after each harvest. Uh, but I figure we have probably another week, maybe two weeks. I am currently starting germination on a new mix that will replace this one as it goes. Uh, we can swing over here on the Simpson Elite lettuce. This is actually 62 days old and roughly 57 days in the mix. And as we zoom in, you can see how just how thick this is. This has been harvested about every third day continuously now for the past few weeks. And it just comes back fuller and stronger each time. And this is so nutritious, so good. I've, I've talked before about the Simpson Elite, uh, but it, it is just absolutely thick. It's dense. The uh, the root mass in it very very thick, uh, very healthy. Water's clean. Smells good. Uh, this has been this has been a great uh, a great mix so far. And again, this is this is right in the, the meaty part of the harvest. So based on last time's harvest, we probably got another 30 or 40 days solid of pulling lettuce from this one. By that time, the, uh, the new mescaline mix will be up and running. All right, well, as I talked uh, briefly at the beginning, I'm going to do a quick pH test on how we test for the pH in a, a hydroponic system. Now, I am going to begin posting to the blog uh, a series on pH and why it's so important to have a correct pH to allow the nutrients to be absorbed uh, by the plants. So on that, let's take a quick check. What I'm using here is a, basically a styret and a, a little jar that came with the General Hydroponics pH test kit. What I do is draw a little bit of water out of the out of the reservoir. So we're going to fill this little uh, cylinder about halfway full of the water. Okay, once we got about halfway full. In the, tea, in the pH kit comes just the jar of the, uh, the test indicator solution and the instructions show you know, four to five drops into the water. Close the lid, don't shake it, we don't need the bubbles, really we're just going to flick our fingers against it to let it, uh, to let it dissolve. And as you can see already, your first glance, it's, it's a blue-green color. So if we go off the gen general hydroponics uh, control kit sheet, very easy to read, easy to explain. Uh, yellow to yellowish green indicates ideal pH range for plant growth, 5.5 to 6.5. And as you can see, we're definitely, we're definitely above the, uh, the yellow to orange range, and we're definitely in the green. So what it says is if the test indicates any blue, green, or blue, the pH is too high, and add pH down to lower the nutrient pH. So a very easy test. It's got an easy comparison chart. You have to kind of get used to it. You can eyeball it. But really, you're looking for a range of color. And we can tell that this one is just on the high side at about 7.0 to 7.5. So nothing tragic. This is not going to hurt your plants necessarily. But it's, at, it's not ideal either. So what we do now, and I'm not going to actually do the, uh, the adjustment, but I'm going to talk through it. There's two products that come with this test kit that General Hydroponics makes, pH up and a pH down. In order to lower pH, obviously it's, it's a heavy acid, and to raise pH, it's a heavy base. Both of these are corrosive and acidic, so it's important. Uh, you know, you don't have to wear 
you know, a, a space suit, but at the same time, you want to be careful not to get this on your clothes, not to get this on different materials, because it is caustic, uh, whether it's acid or a base, depending on which one you're using. So what I've learned over time, with these seven gallon deep water culture reservoirs, if I have a reading that is slightly above, what I'll do is I'll start off with, say, five or ten drops, and you're really just opening the lid and, and kind of watching the drops enter the reservoir. Stir it up a little, close the lid, wait a couple minutes, and then redo your test. If it's coming down slowly, you can you can basically adjust on common sense. Hey, add twice the you know add the same amount and lower it the same amount. Or if it goes too far, and you end up with in this case, let's say it turned red or orange, which indicates a very low pH, then back it up with about half as much of the pH up. So really, you're just using these two products to go back and forth till you find the middle. In most cases with seven gallons on these adjustments, five to ten drops usually does it, brings it right down in line with what you're looking at on your chart and works out really good. And as I said, I'll be posting to the blog, the next series is going to be on pH adjustment and all those details about pH and why it's so important, uh, just as I did on the nutrient uh, series that I just posted on the blog. So, so there's an update. There's the Mescaline mix, the uh, the Simpson mix. Both of these are running along just fine. We're actually into the spring, so a lot of plants are outdoors in the regular gardens now. We're not spending as much time down here, but as these are so maintenance free, uh, it hasn't really uh, hasn't taken all that much time anyway. So until next time.